Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 19th of March and I'm here once again to give you some news on the Xbox One as Microsoft has announced plans to launch the console in 26 new markets in September 2014. Now, Yusuf Mehdi, who is of course Xbox's corporate VP of marketing, strategy and business, has confirmed a list of planned launch markets in a post via the Xbox Wire. Now, of course, I will be going through those countries in just a moment, but I want to speak a little bit about the delay. Of course, the Xbox One was initially due to launch in 21 markets when it came out in November last year, but was delayed in eight. Now, each of those delayed eight countries will, of course, be included in this list, so that we finally receive in the console and of course we have a few more extras thrown in as well. Now it has been quite a long wait for the people in these regions, a wait of almost a year and that is a long time and it certainly seems like an awfully long time especially if you of course very excited for the Xbox One. I think we have to keep in mind the language problems which of course are worse than normal when of course taking a, con uh, a console rather to a country that perhaps you know, doesn't have too many English speakers or of course there's going to be a large enough uh, group of non-English speakers to have to worry about uh, of course changing the language options and so on. We also have the connect to worry about where of course it now has to be registered to that language and be able to register commands in that language as well because of course you're going to have people in pretty much any country who can speak perfectly fluent in English and some who have you know okay English enough to get by in a conversation so could probably use it but of course, you're going to have quite a few who just aren't comfortable with the language or don't speak it at all or what have you. So I think that is probably the main reason behind it. Of course, you have to change over the UI as well, or at least have the option. Of course, the language option will be there for people to change. And of course, there's always the option for anyone, um, of course, comfortable in the English language to just import it as well from another European country. But still, a year is a long time to wait. However, I think considering the translation issue that was, of course, heightened by the connect uh, voice commands. I think it's a, not that bad when you think of it like that, to be honest. Of course, it's plenty bad if you've been waiting a year. Lord knows it annoyed me to wait um, a few extra weeks for the PS4 when everyone in the US was enjoying it already. So God knows how it felt to wait an entire year, but I think we have to consider the monumentous task that Microsoft had ahead of them at the time of launch. So it is now available in 26 new markets and of course their original 21 have now been met if though 8 of them had to wait a while. Anyway that is me done for this video, hope you've enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.